Dear Jeffrey, I sell copiers in New York City, and recently I've been noticing a high turnover of people that I've dealt with at my accounts, CTOs and CFOs in particular. When this happens, it's almost like the reset button has been set, and these new people have no allegiance to me or my service and are usually unaware as to how hard I've worked to earn their company's business. So my question is, how should I conduct myself when I know there's a new person in the company that I work with? Is there a specific process that I should follow? Well, I've written about it. You can go online and find out about it, but let me give you the short answer. Number one, if one guy leaves and you have nobody else to talk to, you're in trouble. So you need to have in any account four or five guys, especially in New York City, where people are going to come and go at a much faster rate than anywhere else in the country. That's number one. Number two, make certain that the people who use the equipment, not the people who buy the equipment, know you and love you. So that when you go into the copy room or you go into whatever is the print room, they know, oh, it's Daniel. Hey, come here, everybody. It's Daniel. You have candy on their desk. You bring them food, whatever you have to do to endear yourself to the people that actually use the product. Because in the end, if your main guy leaves, the new guy is going to say, well, what do you do here to his own people? And they're going to go, it's Daniel, it's nobody else. So you have to endear yourself all the way up and down the line. That's number one. Number two, when that new person comes in, you meet with them as fast as you possibly can over casual meeting place like coffee and talk to them about your history, ask them about their history and explain to them how dedicated you are to their company. And even if, you, even if they have other services, look, before you bring in everybody else that you already know, just use me for a while. See how you like me. If you like me, keep me. And if you don't, throw me out. Fair enough. And it'll be fair enough.